We pulled one of the wheels off the El Camino that we're working on and we're going to sandblast that scale rust out and, and mask it up, reprime it, repaint it. But first I want to talk just a little bit about sandblasters. There's several different kinds of sandblasters. Um, you know, there's little mini blasters if you just got a real small area. There's gravity feed sandblasters that have a hopper on top of the gun and as you pull the trigger it feeds sand in. Um, very common types you find in most parts stores is a siphon feed where you just hook the air up to the, um, up to the sandblasting gun and as the air pressure goes by it, it draws sand up and then the, that's probably the most common type probably the best type though is a pressure type blaster it's by far the most aggressive um, so that's what we're going to use today uh, different types of media too we're going to use just regular sand but you could blast with soda you can blast with walnut husk you can blast with corn cob steel shot I mean it's endless the, the amount of sandblasting media depending on the application that you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to accomplish but we're going to uh, just use regular sand one thing about sandblasting the sand is very very carcinogenic you definitely want to wear protective gear respirator I'm gonna put a hood on when I actually start blasting and get some gloves on so but I'm gonna suit up go ahead and blast the, the rust out of this thing and take it from there I got this one pretty well done. I got a little bit more to touch up. Um, but a couple things we'll talk about in blasting. Uh, you need a really good air compressor. I mean, you need to have a lot of capacity to run any type of sand blaster. And then two, you need some kind of a line dryer. Um, any amount of water is going to, uh, it, it gets the sand wet, clumps up, and then it plugs the, the nozzle up and you just do nothing but fight with it the whole time. So I got a little bit left to finish up, but um, another thing too, if you're in, a, if you're in the middle of a city um, you probably don't want to be blasting in your driveway and spraying it off into your neighbor's yard. So you may want to look. There's a lot of places to do it commercially. Um, you can actually get blast cabinets that are fairly substantial in size. You could probably fit a rim in some of the bigger ones, not maybe with the tire on it. But So there's blast cabinets so you can reuse the media. And then talking about the media, we use just a silica sand today. Um, it's a special sandblasting sand. You can get it at Home Depot, Fleet Farm, I mean any of the big, the big stores you, or even a parts store. So I'm going to go ahead and finish blasting this one up. And, It'll be ready to prime and paint.